It is officially, I want you to go grab your tree. I want you to go grab your drink, grab your coffee, grab your tea, because we're going to talk September the 13th, 2014. It is Mayhem Day. Mayweather versus McDonald 2 is in about 16 hours. I'm T Street Controversy, and I call this grand establishment T Street Controversy Live. So, what we're going to do is we are going to start off with a bang. Just listen. This was today, ladies and gentlemen. Is adored by fight fans. There's a much darker side to his story. He's had a string of domestic violence, arrests, citations, and in 2010, an incident that landed him in prison. According to the police report, Mayweather grabbed the mother of his three children by the hair, punched her in the head several times, and threatened to kill her. This was all in front of his kids, who he also threatened to kill, before one of them called the police. But after Mayweather pled to a reduced charge and spent only two months in jail, he wasn't ostracized the way Ray Rice has been this week. The Nevada Boxing Commission didn't suspend him the way the NFL suspended Rice. Instead. Mayweather has been allowed to continue to churn out paintings, and this despite even more women coming forward with stories of abuse in the time. Now, if you don't see what's going on here, that is Rachel Nichols of CNN. She has her own show that comes on at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, she used to work for ESPN, so she's very in tune with sports, but here, this interview, well, the interview about you were about to hear, was on the eve, excuse me, of Floyd Mayweather versus Marcus Maidana the rematch. Now, I said that Floyd Mayweather is not the type of person that you allow to answer questions like that or anything. Who the reporter, like, you ask Floyd Mayweather about domestic abuse. That's just like, as I used before, the analogy of when Don, when Don Sterling called, you like, oh shit, let me get my recorder. Yeah, hold on, Don. Hey, hey, Don, how you doing? You don't ask a guy like Floyd May fuck a guy. You don't ask Floyd Mayweather about domestic abuse. Floyd Mayweather has shown you time and time and time again how his arrogance exceeds his 46 and 0. So, when it comes fight week and a week before the fight, you have the beautiful and alluring Miss Chantel Jackson, former fiance of Floyd Joy Sinclair. And what you see is her filing a lawsuit for domestic abuse against Floyd before the fight, just two weeks before the fight. What does that tell you? That tell you perfect fucking timing. That also tells you that there is no hellfire hot enough or hotter than a woman scorned. Trust me, I know. She like, I'm gonna get his fucking ass. Remember, she tried the last fight and she tried to fight before, but it wasn't publicized. But now, she's like, I'm going to get your fucking ass. Right, that's, that's, how, that's how I see because she's a woman. That's how I see she probably like the motherfucker. Like she had a... She had, Ms. Jackson had a press conference. Ms. Jackson, what has she done? Did she just sign a $62 million five-year contract? You know, did she just win the MVP? When I saw her at that table with her gold jacket and I saw that woman's activist lady and you probably forgot her name. I forgot her name, but I should know it. But that lady that was next to her, that lady ain't no joke. I'm dead ass serious. 
she's like she's like the Johnny Cochran. No, she's the Al Sharpton of women. Except she's not a scumbag. And I have a right. Honestly, I don't like Al Sharpton, to be perfectly honest with you. And he looks sick. They have something on Ford. People are saying, they got no proof, they got no proof. She's filing, um, we might as well say it's a multi-million dollar lawsuit. There's a good chance it'll sell her out of court. Yes, Ms. Jackson is having some financial issues. Yes, she sold her Bentley that Floyd Mayweather gave her and, and a lot of her other shit. But then he auctioned her shit off on Instagram. But that's here or there. What I'm saying is perfect timing. So with her golden jacket, you obviously see that she's going to be labeled as a gold digger. Does she care? Probably not. But what you have to look at is she had a press conference. So what you have is you have all those major networks, all those major platforms coming to see her tell her story with the no tears and the fake ass face. But you have to think that. Those other parties had to say, okay, well, she bullshitting. We need to see some type of proof. And guess what? I believe she has it. Now, when it comes to this interview, this was just about seven hours ago. When it comes to this interview right here, let's just play some more. Since. Now, given all this, you'd think Mayweather would want to keep a low profile heading into his fight this weekend, a fight that's expected to earn him $30 million. But instead, what did Mayweather do? He commented on price, telling a group of reporters that the NFL, quote, overreacted in indefinitely suspending rights. Mayweather added, quote, I think there's a lot worse things that go on in other people's households. It's just not caught on video, if that's safe to say. Now, listen. That, that, that is true. Now, as far as overreacted, no. But the problem is, Floyd, you don't, who, you don't say, you're not supposed to say shit about that. Remember, not Floyd Mayweather, not the guy with all these alleged domestic abuse attacks, not, not the guy with, with, with the arrogant, ignorant shit that he said. You don't ask a guy like Floyd Mayweather some shit like that. You just don't. Should I go on? Should I talk about the Jeremy Lynch situation? You know, you don't ask me whether some shit like that. Now, it's not that a lot of the shit he isn't saying isn't true, but it's like he's supposed to be a role model. And people say, you know, he don't need no endorsements. He making, no, that's what he's telling y'all. It's because he can't get no major endorsements because he can't control his mouth. You people need to open your fucking eyes. He's just, he's, he's brain. He's, he's, he's having sexual relations with your brains. He's just keep lying to y'all. And you just keep, and the thing is, I'm a fan in the ring outside. Let's listen to some more. Well, the next day, Mayweather backtracked from those comments, but when I had the chance to speak to the boxer, listen I asked him shit. about Rice and his own brutal history. Take a listen. They recently made some comments on Ray Rice and how the NFL should have stuck to its original two-game punishment. Then you backed off those comments. Can you just clarify for us what you really think? Well, I spoke about that yesterday, so, you know, I'll leave that in the past to try to focus on my future. I'm trying to focus on my fight Saturday, which is made down. Well, okay, but you are someone with a history of domestic violence yourself. You've even been to jail for it. Why should fans root for you with this kind of history? Um, everything has been allegations. Uh, nothing has been proven, so, you know, that's life. Well, I mean, the incident you went to jail for, the mother of your three children did show some bruising, a concussion when she went to the hospital. It was your own kids who called the police, gave them a detailed description of the abuse. But there's been documentation. Mm -hmm. um, once again, uh, no pictures, just hearsay and allegations. And I signed a plea bargain. So, once again, not true. But the website Deadspin recently detailed seven separate physical assaults on five different women that resulted in arrest or citation. I mean, are we really supposed to believe all these women are lying, including the incidents when there were witnesses, like your own kids? Well, everybody actually, um, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. You know, when it's all said and, said and done, only God can judge me. All right, well, we've seen this week with the outcry against the NFL, the public wants the domestic abuse problem in this country addressed. 
Would you consider donating any of the more than $30 million you're going to make this weekend to an organization that educates and prevents against abuse? If you haven't seen this interview, what do you think Floyd Mayweather's answer is going to be? Donating to some charity for some women that got beat up. And that's the way he looked at it. He probably looked like, well, they probably deserved it. Because Floyd, listen, the way he handled this interview with those tough questions, I'm surprised he didn't snap out. But you got to think, Mr. Thank You Al Hammond was probably over his shoulder like, like come on. Or, or where the camera is. Like, Al Heyman's probably, like, you see, my perspective is probably behind the camera, looking for in his eye, like. Let's listen to some more. What do you think his answer is? This weekend, what I will do is make sure that millions and millions of dollars be saved for my children because my children are who I love, and that's why I care about yeah, the denial there with Mayweather is truly amazing, right? And it gives an interesting window into the way an abuser can walk around maintaining over and over again that nothing is wrong, despite hard evidence to the contrary. Still, I gotta tell you, not as amazing to me as the denial of the public that supports him. I am curious how many of those who shuddered at the video of Ray Rice in that elevator this week are also planning on plunking down their $70 tomorrow for Mayweather's pay-per-view fight. And it's true. Mayweather supporters, and I'm talking about the the um, hardcore supporters, they look at a guy like me and they critique me, not knowing that I'm just fucking with you. But at the same time, the information I'm telling to you that I've been telling for almost four years now, you can go find out for your own. When it comes to the abuse, I'm not supposed to talk about it. But then when you see someone on CNN talk about it, it's like, oh, that shit's for real. I'm supposed to be leaving, you know, this would be a video about him outside of boxing because that's what I do if you don't know. I'm T-Street Controversy and I'm T-Street Controversy motherfucking live. So which means that I do my shows my way, the way I want, as long as YouTube and my sponsors, the advertisers before these videos are happy. So as far as what I'm saying is he's a serial abuser allegedly and he says well there ain't no proof or nothing but see the meat of the issue was is that Ray Rice gets suspended indefinitely but the, no, the, the um, Nevada State Athletic Commission just says well you're bringing all this money to the economy you know all those tourists and he is money made but he cops a plea. Now, now listen, to anyone who's not familiar with the law or who never been booked before, when you cop a plea, it's like, damn, it's like, listen, you gotta take this deal because if you don't take this deal, they're gonna take that shit to trial and they got the pictures and all that shit. And also, he took the deal. He was like, oh, I'm gonna do these three months. And you know, he was bitching. Here's the thing. Don't you know, you can get it on your own too. I have his court documents, not only his court documents, but I have grievance letters that he's written to the judge in his handwriting. I'll post them on my Facebook. Go to the website below, Real Combat Media, all the articles, all the videos you see of mine, boxing, mixed martial arts, jujitsu, whatever contact sports you like. You like to see people get beat down, Real Combat Media, but below that, I have a boxing forum where if you're not in my boxing form you can think that I'm making all this stuff up but what I do is even though it's hard convincing most I back up everything I say on my Facebook with articles videos interviews etc so for you to think that these thousands of people will just watch my video just to be watching it, you're wrong so let's get on the same page here listen Do you think that the, like, okay, Adrian Broner got suspended for saying Mexican, a Mexican can get it. Look, I can say, you know, I can say the African can get it, you know, a Mexican can get it, Mexican, 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 Mexican. Is the WBC going to suspend me? 
Is that racist? No. But then you have to also look at what I call the Mayweather standard. It's like, well, wait a minute. Rachel Nichols is kind of right. He ain't get like no type of suspension or nothing. Dane said, all right, you got to drop your titles or nothing. And he copped the plea. So when you cop the plea, once again, that's, in, that, that's basically saying, all right, listen, take the deal or you go to trial and take your chances. It's like, oh, I'm going to take, take that deal. But if it wasn't me or you, we ain't getting no three months. Because we ain't Floyd Mayweather. We ain't getting no three months. They're going to send us fishing. We're going upstate. Oh, no, that's going to that's gonna far exceed that two years in county waiting for your case. I'm sorry. But Floyd Mayweather gets that three months in county, even though he was on that, what, 24, I mean, 23 to 1 or 22 to 2. I believe it was 22 to 2. But mentally, as a boxer, he should have been cool. But it was about not having the phones, not having the technology, not having his private jet, the water, you know. And at that point in time, the fine and beautiful Miss Lauren Jackson. But, you know. I'm not going to sit up here and ramble on. I really need to get some sleep because guess what? In 24 hours, I'm going to be right here live streaming. So what I, so what I do is, right after the fight, I'm going to do a video about 10 to 20 minutes talking about the fight. And I predicted Floyd Mayweather to lose. It's just too much shit going on. Let me just run it down to you. You got 50 Cent, T.I., Tiny, Nelly, Miss Jackson, you got this interview on his back now. You got the Ray Rice comments. You got him leaving Golden Boy and going back. You got the Richard Chaffer situation. You got the women around him. You got him, you know, with, with, with chicks smoking pot around him. It's like, is he going to pass before the post fight drug test? You know, it's things like that. And I'm sure I'm missing some things too. I'm sure I'm missing some things. You know, the reading thing, there's too much shit going on. And I'm thinking, how can he keep doing this? All good things have to come to an end, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, we're looking at a man who needs to be humbled. And will it be Marcos Maidana? I don't think so. Floyd Mayweather is getting out of control. Did I say I don't think so? See, I'm second, I'm second guessing myself. No. I believe in Chino. But more importantly, I believe in fate. Manny Pacquiao gets punched in the face by like a, 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 a ton of weight. I used to drink a whole lot, so I'm thinking like, could this be the time? But you know, I'm not gonna start preaching and all that. I'm saying, please subscribe, and I am tired, so I need to catch up on the sleep now. I'm tired. Tissue controversy, tissue controversy, life.